Hey folks, David here. It dawned on me a few days ago that it's been a good long while since I've made a YouTube video for our channel. And I thought I just need to do that and give you a little update. I, I came out here today to get a little smut, some soot on this pot that uh, I picked up at a, a army uh, a military surplus locally that uh, came from somewhere in Europe. Just try it out. It's hot. <clears throat> you know, put it in an extra kit uh, and uh, and use the thing. But I wanted to give you a little update on where we're at and what's going on. Uh, this has been a, a different sort of winter for us here and. Back in November, I believe it was, yeah, back in November, my wife had uh, knee replacement surgery, and David's been uh, primary caregiver uh, uh, for Shirley, as she's been recovering from that particular knee replacement surgery, and I've got to tell you, that's, uh, that's a major deal. Uh, I really feel for anybody that uh, goes through that. And uh, it's a difficult recovery. It's a different, uh, a difficult uh, rehab uh, type thing. But she's doing uh, a lot better, uh, much better. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention in this video is there's a lot of changes going on here at our end, and uh, we're excited about them. Uh, I'm not, not at this point. Uh, uh, able to disclose everything about the changes. They're all good. And uh, uh, one of them, though, is that coming up uh, next month, March the 20th, I'll be 62 years old. And uh, I'm really not 62 years old. I'm 62 years young. And I admit that, uh, you know, at 62, I can't do some of the things that I did when I was 52. I just don't have the physical stamina, but I'm nowhere near ready for a rocking chair on the porch. And uh, there's a lot of things that I'm going to be doing and uh, that we're going to be doing that we'll be documenting as we go. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I've done more writing this winter than I have video making. Uh, I've put a lot of stuff on my blog. I do a lot of that. And for those of you that uh, that haven't already, uh, look me up on Facebook. I'll, I put stuff on there that uh, uh, videos and uh, uh, blogs and, and things that are related to uh, woodcraft, bushcraft, uh, whatever craft you want to call it. Uh, self-reliance, uh, self-reliance skills, and one of the things, speaking of self-reliance skills, one of the things that has, excuse me, the hot chocolate is good, uh, one of the things that uh, has occupied my time uh, post knee replacement surgery for my wife is that uh, with that surgery going on and the recovery going on, my getting into the woods time to procure deer meat uh, was delayed. And here we've got uh, Wednesday coming up, the, the 10th of uh, February. Uh, our season, our deer season closes here. So I'm in the process of here these last few weeks trying to uh, procure from the woods, from the woodlot, uh, all of the meat that uh, that we need to put in our, into our freezer. And I've been processing, I've processed several deer and uh, I haven't killed all the, of them. There's some very benevolent people around that, that make contributions to our freezer and to the freezers of others. And uh, I, we always appreciate that. Uh, so stay tuned, uh, click the little like button. Let me know that you're around, make a comment, leave a comment. Uh, I try to answer the comments that uh, that people make, uh, and uh, if, if you look me up on Facebook, there's links to my blog uh, on my Facebook page, uh, Woodsmoke Woodcraft, or under my name. I manage a page 
wood smoke woodcraft page as well as I've got my own personal page and uh, look forward to seeing you there as well. Until we see you again, keep doing the good stuff guys. Keep getting outdoors. Reconnect. Connect and stay connected with nature. Even here where we're listening to the trucks out on the highway and occasionally the airplanes from the airport a mile and a half to the west there's still woodland places, woodlots. There's a lot to see, there's a lot to do. If all it is is to build a fire and make a cup of hot chocolate or a cup of tea or roast a hot dog or whatever, get outdoors, enjoy the outdoors, learn some skills, assess yourself and whatever skills you're lacking in, learn those skills and always be studying, always be a student, always read read something that's going to benefit you, that's going to educate you, that's going to teach you how to better yourself in a wilderness environment. See you on the next one.